Hello and welcome to another booktube video from me, Lauren from Lauren and the Books. I'm in bed and I've got my Christmas duvet, uh, my Christmas quilt cover and my Christmas pyjamas on. And I'm going to sleep soon because it's quite late and I thought I must bring up my video for tomorrow. Today I'm going to be talking about one book in particular. This is the first time I've ever done an individual book review and the book that I'm going to be talking about, if I can just sort out my disgusting posture because I'm half laying down, um, is Skipping Christmas by John Grisham. So this is a book that um, I read in preparation for my um, book club or book discussion group that I run on BRFM, whose um, website I will link down below. They're a local radio station if you live in Swale um, and they're great and they kindly let me on at once a month to um, have a good chat about books and and this month I thought that we would read Skipping Christmas by John Grisham. So this is a book that I read last year, it's my second time of reading it, and it is about a family called the Cranks, um, who are who live in America and whose daughter their only daughter has gone away for Christmas. Um, she's decided to volunteer in Peru um, and she goes away for Christmas. And they think, well, instead of having this big massive Christmas that he the, the father of the family worked out, um, they spent six thousand nine hundred dollars the year before on Christmas, that they are going to skip. Christmas and spend um, some money on going on a cruise on Christmas Day instead because their daughter isn't at home anymore. So um, that is what they decide. So the first half of the book is all the sort of like things that they have to avoid spending money on and all the traditions that they get used to and it just sort of puts into perspective what Christmas is like for a lot of people now and including us like myself as well how how there's so many little things that you're expected to do and you don't even realize and one particular bit that I found really funny in the book is that everybody who lives on this street has um, has invested in a frosty, which is a snowman that goes on their porch roof because all these houses are identical. And every year they get an email or a phone call from the sort of person who lives down the road who who rounds them all up and says, right, we're going to put the frosties out this year, uh, this week now. So we're going to do this today. So everyone get outside and everyone has to drop everything. Some people phone in sick at work so that they're able to go outside and put up their frosties. And it just made me think. Yeah, I bet people do do like people do get serious about decorating their house. But that's just one one of the things that happens. And and then there's also some really funny bits in here where he's um where Luther Crank is um keeps going to the uh, the tanning uh, the tanning salon because he wants to be brown in time for his cruise. And I think he takes it just a little step too far and stuff. But anyway, half uh, sort of three quarters of the way through the book, they get a phone call from their daughter Blair um, and she is on her way home for Christmas. They get a phone call on Christmas Eve and she's on her way home from Christmas and it just sort of shows the all the neighbours get rallied together and decide to put on the best Christmas for Blair because they haven't prepped for this, they thought they were going away, they cancelled their cruise. It's just like got a few little heartwarming messages in it, quite a bit of laughs and giggles and it's very Christmassy, really very Christmassy. I gave it three stars, it's not the best Christmas book I've ever read, but I did enjoy it and it is quite short um, and it's also a very, very easy read. There's no like massive plot points and you're not thinking, oh goodness me, who's this person, who's this person? So if you are looking for a nice, easy Christmas book to read this year, then this is definitely one I would recommend. Um, you also might recognise the surname Cranks because um, this film was made in, uh, this book was made into a film called Christmas with the Cranks, um, which I haven't watched yet and I've, to I've been told it's a bit shit, um, but I will be giving that a try. I think it's got Jamie Lee Curtis in it. I can't re remember the other person. Do you know? Tim Allen. And Tim, of course, it's got Tim Allen in. Isn't Tim Allen in like every Christmas film? Is he in the mm. Santa Claus? Yeah. Yeah, him. The Santa Claus man. Um, so yes, that is the uh, book that I thought I would do an individual book review on. And I will see you all again tomorrow with a, another book uh, vlogmas video. Bye!